okay guys uh, welcome to this video so this will be a very quick this will be a very quick video so I, I'm currently writing a simple uh, tutorial in my medium uh, blog so we have I have my medium uh, blog link as well so you can follow through so I'm writing a simple uh, tutorial to create a react app as well as a mongodb uh, server and connect uh, each of the uh, both apps like front end and back end so uh, in creating the MongoDB, uh, like when creating this server, I thought of uh, connecting it for MongoDB cloud uh, database. So since like this is also a kind of new, like uh, how to create a MongoDB free uh, database in MongoDB cloud. So I thought of sharing this uh, video as well, like while I'm uh, writing my uh, tutorial. So in this video, I will show you how you can create a free uh, MongoDB cloud database so let's start so after you uh, like after you register to the MongoDB cloud you will be uh, you will get something like this uh, this screen something like this screen so if you are look uh, if you are uh, looking for the first time like if you registered for the app and uh, logged for the first time like the screen you will first see might differ from this like it directly goes to the database creation part uh, but if you go through this video as well like uh, both the approaches are same like uh, for the first time after registration it directly redirects to the database creation creation part and in here also uh, we will uh, go through that steps so the main difference is in here like first of all what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a a new project so <clears throat> I will create a new project I will give a project name like authentication app and click next and here you can uh, give members and set permission so I'm not going to do that but in the production level like if you are creating a real product you know for the database there are different people work on the database and you can give permission and set permissions for different members so what you have to do is you can enter your uh, other members email address and send him a request uh, through that and also there are uh, different ownerships like project owners and all where they can they have different permissions like deleting the databases so and something like that so i'm not going to go through those things like since this is a beginner's guide so I will uh, since uh, I have give the project name I will go directly go to the create project part it will create a project and after that we can create our clusters okay now we have created our project and uh, we are going to create our first database inside our authentication app project so build database so I am using the free tire uh, here this one create okay. I think like for at the beginning like if you are uh, if you are logging through the first time you will be ended up in this screen yeah you ended, ended up in this screen so the steps are actually same like here I can select I will go with the default one so I'm not sure some of uh, some of these Australia Sydney like since this is free tire like uh, free tire is already selected like I think I can uh, select any of them in here and this is our cluster name okay, like we can change this name as well like database is create, created inside this cluster so I'm, uh, I will give, keep this default name as well or, or else I can create change the name as well to cluster one and since I'm in Asian region I will select Singapore here and 
you can select any of them like I'll go with this AWS and create cluster and here what you have to do is we have to uh, give a username and a password so and also there's a new option like certificate I have no idea about that one I will go with username and password and make sure you remember this password well. So I will go with the username as freelancing and password also as same and create user. Okay, I have successfully created the and after that I will keep this one uh, as same like we can add our IP address here like uh, I will talk about this in future uh, in few seconds actually okay wait can add my current IP address as well like this okay at the moment I will add this one okay and I will finish and close go to the database your cluster is being created this will normally take a few minutes like two three minutes so I will resume the video after the cluster is created. Here you can see our cluster with the database is created. So let's see how we can connect this. The main thing is you can have to get this connection string here. Like you click on the connect and I'm going to connect your application here, this one. Yeah. as I said we have this connection URL what you have to do is like in here you have to add your password and make sure to remove this uh, greater than and uh, less than mark as well like if you are going to use this connection string anyway like if you want to learn if you want to know how we are using it inside express server like I will at the uh, my tutorial link my blog article link so that uh, you can watch it later after I uploaded it so it's still in the writing mode like what you have to do is whenever you want to uh, use this string to connect what you have to do is you have to simply copy this one and inside the you have to replace that password section with the uh, user password we created earlier so as I said, I, I think you can remember like I told you to remember the username and password. You can note it down here. You can copy the connection string in here. And after that, you have to replace this entire section. Include this less than and greater than mark and replace this with your password. So that's how you can use it inside a application that's how you can create the correct database connection string so there's one thing you should do like uh, when you uh, create in this database uh, you can remember like I added my IP address so uh, we have to change it like since uh, most of us most of our IP addresses changes with this our internet service providers we have to allow our databases to access from anywhere so in here in the network access layer what we have to do is we have to edit this and we have to allow access from anywhere and confirm now your database can be accessed from anywhere uh, from anywhere so if I explain more about this one like why we have this 
kind of restriction so I think uh, I can explain it, that one as well so what happens is like uh, when production in the production level uh, when you are creating real products you know our API or our backend is hosted on a server so I will explain it with some <clears throat> few diagrams here Uh, what you can do is like <clears throat> like you know our API is hosted like uh, in a separate server in the cloud our API is hosted like this like, this is our API and our database is also hosted in the cloud so this is our cloud so this is uh, this so this our cloud database it's hosted in cloud db yes it's hosted in our mongodb cloud in here and our api can be hosted on a separate server like in, in aws in azure app services or anything <coughs> we can host our api server there so uh, our api server also have a separate ip address and what we can do is like in the in real products uh, we give permission only for this api ip address where our api is hosted so only through this uh, only through this one only the database can be accessed so what happens is like uh, when we here is our user So user access this API through a website like if we go like so this is our website and see okay this is our website and use access the website and the website access the API uh, to retrieve user details or anything details inside the uh, database the website is accessing through the API so use access the website website goes through the API and API through the API it access the cloud database so only you so if we allow the cloud database only this IP so other IPs like if some if someone tried to hack into our database if another user like if another hack if let's see if hacker see my drawing is good like if a hacker tried to access this database through a separate IP address with their own IP address so that access get denied so because we have uh, limited this cloud DB access only through the API a server IP address so if a hacker tried to access the and brute force the database or enter or manipulate the data or even at least try to access this uh, uh, database so that request is denied so that's why we have we can restrict this uh, database access to a single uh, IP address but what happens in here is for in our projects like in our in our testing projects we access through uh, our computers so in our computers the IP address changes on each time you connect and reconnect so that's why uh, you have to allow this uh, access from anywhere type so that's all about this network access and here you can see our database is created and I uh, explain you how you can get the connection string this one and you can uh, connect through your MongoDB cloud so if you want to <coughs> if you uh, if you want to learn how to uh, use this inside the Express server uh, I have linked my medium blog articles and my medium uh, pub, my medium profile uh, in the description so you can uh, connect through that one and follow me and you can 
get new updates so i will try to uh, explain as many uh, as deep as i can uh, so everyone can learn uh, and program very well so that's it for this uh, video hope to meet you soon with another uh, explained video thank you very much